a ready project open for us from the file menu select a new to open an empty project for us to start drawing inside the software we need a blank layer that software by default put a blank layer called layer 1 in the layer section this section as mentioned before is for managing the layer of the exist in the project so you can draw all your shapes inside this layer this mark in the middle of the page is the center of this layer i mean layer one to create a new layer you can use this button and can another layer i mean uh, another vector layer will we do that later the first tool we will look at is drawing shape tool by clicking on it its sitting will be appear here as you can see, you can create a different shapes that are basic shapes to draw more complex shapes like rectangle, oval, triangle, star, arrow, spiral, and grid. <clears throat> to start, we draw from rectangle and by select it and click and dragging, you can easily draw. To create a square, just press the shift key and if you want to drawing to be a drawing from center hold them alt and click and drag to draw the other shapes are the same But the grid shape will be useful to us in other tools, which we will be explained in next lessons. There are two numbers called horizontal and vertical that are used to create a number of rows and columns. It's important to know that, we, that you must set this number before drawing. You can, you can do not change after drawing. Normally, these numbers are four for example uh, we make in five and then we draw again all these shapes are in one layer to select and move them we must use the transform point tool which is t shortcut you have to click on the object to select it and the next lesson explains how to rotate move and select point you can click an empty space to deselect all points of the object, then select the point and move by clicking and dragging point. There is another tool called Transform Layer that selects and moves the layers that all these objects are inside it. All object is inside layer 1. We can create another layer and create a new objects inside the new layer. To do that, click the vector button in the layer manager window to create a new layer for us. Okay, before, and now we have layer two. Before drawing new shapes, we want to explain fill and stroke. In a moho to create a different color, you have to decide what color you want before drawing. In a style window, you can select the desired color by clicking on the fill section. From this section, select type of the colors. From this section, you can increase and decrease the opacity. There is also, uh, there is also a color picker here. To select the color from anywhere in the software, even the Windows environment. To work with that, you have to hold mouse click on it and go anywhere you want. For example, these swatches and select the desired color. Okay, to create a color in the margin of the shapes from the stroke section as before, you can select the color of item. In the width section, you can increase or decrease the thickness. Here is an interesting point above the software. 
Wherever in the software, the same boxes where we used to enter the numbers, you can enter the number in three ways. Type and enter the number directly. Two, scroll mouse to change the numbers, as you can see. Or right click and drag it up and down. Okay. Now we draw a rectangle. As you can see, the inside color is called field and the border called stroke. <clears throat> In its settings, auto fill mode means that when we draw, it automatically fills the inside of the object with selected color. If we uncheck it and redraw the body, the body becomes empty. Again, this change must be before drawing. Another auto stroke mode is the same. If we uncheck it and redraw a shape, the border will be no longer be drawn. As you can see. Okay, now to navigate in a, in a software drawing area, you can zoom in or out by scrolling the mouse and pan by right clicking and dragging. Of course, in the workspace section, there are the same tools. And the tool is, looks like a hand is for panning. The other tool is for zooming. You can click and drag or zoom. We'll be explain the other tools soon. Note that if the object are outside of the main frame of software, if we zoom it, zoom in, their quality will be bad. As you can see, we have two layers in the select objects inside them. We must first select the layer and then select it with the transfer tool and move it. But what uh, should we do if we want to change the shape, color, and other setting after drawing it? We must use the tool called Select Shape and click on a desired object to change it. It's sitting on a style, a style panel. We'll be explaining this tool later. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.